A New York City police bomb squad has removed a suspicious package from a Manhattan building associated with actor Robert De Niro. According to the Associated Press, the device found Thursday appears to be linked to the other sent to Democratic figures in CNN's New York City office. The package apparently looks similar to the others and had a similar device inside. We go now to New York for the latest on this story, and uh, CGTN's John Terrett is there for us. John, you're at the scene where one of the suspicious parcels were found. Give us the latest on the new recipients of these uh, pipe bombs. Well, everybody knows him. It is the progressive Hollywood actor Robert De Niro, and this is the Tribeca region of Manhattan. And this behind me is the Tribeca Grill, which he famously owns. And above the Tribeca Grill are his production offices, where, as you know, in the past, he's produced some very violent films, but in later life, he's produced some very gentle comedies. And apparently, he watches the rushes when he's working in New York back here behind me in the offices upstairs. And it was here at four or five in the morning that a security security guard apparently spotted what he thought was a suspicious package, immediately called the police. The police were here in very short order, took it away in a huge containment vehicle to the Bronx, where the New York police have a depot where they can either destroy or investigate the suspicious packages further. And of course, it comes just one day after we had a wave of attacks against President Barack Obama and President Bill Clinton and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. And of course, as you said, the offices of CNN in Columbus Circle in New York, which brought this to international prominence. So uh, the, p the person or the people behind these incidents are somehow playing politics and sending the threats to Democrats and those critical of President Donald Trump. Could you just recap for us what the president has said? Well, there was another device sent today. In fact, there were two sent to the former Vice President Joe Biden, who lives in Delaware, which is a tiny little state to the north of Washington, D.C., and the south of New York City. Two devices were apparently sent to his home. They got nowhere near. They were intercepted by the Secret Service, who have a special depot for that sort of thing. And yes, you're right. I mean, you look at the people that I've just mentioned, and there are others as well, including George Soros, the left wing financier, and other members of Congress who have been targeted. And it does appear as if there is a pattern building up, that it is somebody targeting people who in some way have clashed very vocally with President Trump. Now, Robert De Niro has clashed extremely vocally over Trump policies since he's been in the White House and during the campaign. And President Trump, as you know, is not shy in pushing back, either vocally or via Twitter. Now, one of the good things about this is that none of the devices that have been sent to any of the addresses has gone off, so the police have a lot to work on. They can examine them in great detail, see if there are similarities in how they were put together, look for fingerprints, that sort of thing. There is a nationwide hunt going on at the moment. President Trump last night at a rally in Wisconsin called for unity and pushed back against the notion of political violence. So President Trump, though, has condemned these terrorist acts. On the one hand, he has also blamed the media for stirring what he called anger. On the other, is this helpful at all in uniting the country against terror? Well, I tell you, it's the new norm here in America. This is the way things are. And you're absolutely right, because last night at that Wisconsin rally, he did talk about unity. He rejected the notion of political violence. But then this morning, as you know, the president tweets very early on. And one of the first tweets was to attack the mainstream media. Now, you should understand that in America, if you're a Republican, which the president is, the mainstream media is anybody other than Fox News or AM Talk Radio, which tends to support the Republican Party. Everybody else is fair game for being fake news, as the president would say or the mainstream media. And in that tweet, he accused the mainstream media of purposely misreporting what he says and what his administration does. And he called on the mainstream media to sort its act out and sort it out fast. Now, you know, there is an element of, you know, confused, mixed message there. But that's the president's style. He often says one thing on one hand and then tweets about it in a different way on another. And it's something that we are, after 18 months of him in the White House, getting right. used to now. <laughs> All right. Uh, John Terrett for us there in New York. Uh, thank you.